I walked into the photo lab in the restricted area, and this was between missions. Uh, one of the gentlemen I had been friends with, and I still talk to occasionally, uh, he pointed to one area of this mosaic. It was one panel of a mosaic. And I looked, and in one of the photo panels, uh, I saw a round white dot. And at the time, it was very crisp, very sharp lines on it. And I said to him, uh, what, what is that? Is that a dot on the emulsion? And then he's grinning, and he says, uh, dots on the emulsion don't leave round shadows on the ground. And there was a round shadow at the right angle, at the correct angle, the sun shining on the trees. I saw pine trees. I didn't see a coastline. I don't know where this was. And uh, I said, is this a UFO? And he's smiling at me, and he says, I can't tell you that. I can't tell you that. What I knew he meant was it was, but he couldn't tell me. So I said, what are you going to do with this information? And he said, well, we always have to airbrush them out before we sell them to the public. In 1965, they had problems with a piece of uh, electronic equipment that was bottlenecking their production of photographs. Um, I was taken into the laboratory where the equipment was malfunctioning. A uh, airman second class was in the dark room at that time. About 30 minutes into the process, he said to me, in a very distressed way, um, by the way, we've discovered a base on the back side of the moon. And then he proceeded to put photographs down in front of me, and clearly in these photographs were structures, uh, mushroom-shaped buildings, spherical buildings, and towers.